Hey, how's it going everybody out there? I'm Jake James Lugo and welcome to the channel and welcome to a brand new episode of JJ's First 20. We're going to be taking a look at Code Shifter for the Nintendo Switch by Arc System Works. Big shout out to them, by the way, you know, for sending this game over to me again to check it out for you guys. Uh, again, this is on Nintendo Switch. Uh, this is an interesting game because this has a combination of like, you know, story elements that focus a little bit on game development or at least aspects of it, as well as also implementing a ton of characters from the entire line up of Arc System Works games, including Blaze Blue, River City Girls, Double Dragon. Uh, there's a lot in here, which I thought was actually pretty clever, pretty interesting. So we're going to just dive right into this game and see what's up with it now. Uh, just to show you guys a little bit of some of the stuff around here. This is the area in like the main hub world that you can roam around. And it's basically a game design studio or game development studio, which is very reminiscent. I guess is reminiscent of what, what goes on over in Japan with these uh, developers. I, I would say uh, off firsthand that this is like an American development studio, but a lot of the stuff here is based off of Japanese uh, Japanese developers in certain aspects here and there. Not entirely because you would look at this as first glance. It's like, okay, this doesn't seem like maybe a Japanese... Uh, studio with a lot of the colors a lot of different stuff like roaming around you know some of the dialogue and things like that oh, let's talk to this guy right here see if we could actually speak to him because he has oh no that was the thing on the, the wall okay so but yeah as you can tell you could roam around and look at different things interact with different people and it all relates to the story which is pretty much about you know trying to these guys are trying to develop a game and they're trying to fix up all the bugs in it and this girl that you're playing as, or at least that I'm controlling now, this developer, created a program that ends up being kind of like an action platforming game that helps you to fix up the bugs and at least get rid of them. Just kind of gather all these different stuff here. Just talk to them, just to show you guys a little bit of it. It says game designer Emma. <laughs> so you check out the drama. You know, the one where if uh, the zombies kill 100 bad guys, they'll resurrect as humans again? What the heck? What kind of game is that? <laughs> Sounds like a Valve game. <laughs> but anyway... Let's actually go into the actual gameplay. Let's go to the, the regular gameplay instead of the stuff in here. Now, you could customize your skills, you know, for your individual character that uh, was it you play as from the start. Add a whole bunch of different skills. This allows you to do different critical attacks, a knockback distance, a speed. You're allowed to switch between heroes, which I'm going to show you guys in just a second, as well as also your defense and everything else. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go into one of the stages. Let's go to one of the earlier stages, first off. Let's go to one of the earlier stages over here. Let's go with... Yeah. Let's go with this one since I didn't get an S rank on it. Okay, I got an A rank. But anyway, the main gimmick with this is that once you go into this type of gameplay style, you're allowed to switch between heroes that you can find these little trophies for, which I'll show you now. So here we go. Here's the main character that you play as. You're able to fight with her. You're able to gather different stuff. Gather... What is it? Jubble jump. Open up areas. Now, here's these trophies, right? First, these are the bugs that you got to hit. You have to play as her in order to destroy them. There's some enemies. Destroy them there. And here's the different characters you can pick up. So, pick up this one. That's an assist trophy. So, once my meter powers up that you can see on the top left there, I'm able to use him for an attack as an assist. And here's a character I could play as. Now, I don't remember which game this is from. I think he's from River City Girls, or I could be wrong. I don't remember. Or uh, River City Rampage. Or River City Rumble, I should say. <laughs> but, um... Every character has different abilities. This one specifically, he's able to break boxes. He's got a lot of high, uh, what is it, high attack output. See, as you can tell here, it breaks stuff up. We get a one up there. Nice. Gather all these items here. I'm gonna find these bugs. So once I find a bug here, I can't attack it with the character I'm playing as. I have to switch back to her in order to destroy them because that's her basically her main ability is to be able to destroy these bugs. Do it here. Let's. It's gonna. Whoa! What the heck? There, I couldn't even move there for a second. There, it's just like I got stuck. There we go. Got him. Switch to him. Kind of just hit him in one shot. Whoa! Got him. Nice. There we go. Problem solved. So destroy them there. Let's keep going. Get some health. Now, there's these guys, which are assist trophies as well. So, I'm going to show you guys the assist once I find an enemy. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, you can see there that they throw stuff. I kind of didn't aim it right. There we go. Let's do it again. There we go. See that they just damage enemies. Now, every uh, 
every assist does things differently. Certain characters will attack differently. Other characters may not attack at all. They might boost you up. It depends on what you find. Now, this character here, as you can tell, I don't know which game this guy is from. I could, I, again, I don't remember which Arc System Works game he's he's in. But he has different abilities where he's able to move around quickly, as you guys could tell. And also, he's able to power up certain areas that you can use an electrical charge to activate platforms and stuff. But one of his abilities is to be light, so it could actually go upwards. Now, I don't know if anybody knows this guy here, but let's, uh, let's switch up to here. Because you can only hold on to so many heroes at a time. Uh, let's switch it over. This is Soul Bad Guy from the Guilty Gear series. He has the ability to not only break boxes, but he could also use a fire attack to, what is it, heat up areas that are of ice. So first, let me get rid of this bug here. Get rid of that. Go this way. So here's the ice area. See a wall of ice blocking your path. Gonna be able to melt it, so we do that. We go like this. And he could also just destroy, destroy those guys there now. We're running low on health, though, which is a little bit annoying. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I didn't want that to happen, but... Might not get an S rank now. Let me grab him right there again. Now, when you die or lose a life, you lose all your uh, heroes that you gathered up to that point. Which is a little bit annoying, because you have to go back and find them again. But... There's always another hero around the corner that you could gather. Get that there. These guys here. I want to make sure down here there's no bugs or nothing because you got to search for these things go all the way down this way nice oh look at that there's another one this is another this is a blaze blue character okay that she's able to charge up certain platforms but she's also able to float and actually do go like this in certain areas there we go let's gather all this switch over get these bugs Ah, dang it. Ah, whoops, wrong thing. Go up this way, and funny thing is, the music changes up when, uh, you switch between characters. I guess they do different themes from their respective games. And there goes another Blaze Blue character. That's, uh, Ragna. Ragna the Blood Edge. But let's go with Soul Bad Guy over here. Okay, hold on, let's switch up because I don't want to lose another life. Some, the problem is some of these characters, because of their abilities and the way that they're designed, you can only hit once. They don't have combos like what I'm doing now with the regular standard character, so you can't get successive hits. That's a little bit annoying, if I'm being totally honest. See, there's Soul Bad Guy. Now, he could only... He can only just heat up platforms like this. Well, let's uh, go against this platform right here. And that's an assist ninja, I guess. I, I don't know what his what that character is. I don't remember all these different characters that are here. And here's also another one from Blaze Blue. There's a lot of Blaze Blue characters in here for one different reasons. This is the cat character that you play as. That he's very light. That he can actually go up this way. It's pretty cute. You can also do this. Let's get rid of that. So you're constantly switching between characters as you run into different things. Let me double check over here. There's nothing. There's nothing over here that I might need. Go up this way. He's got his double jump. We got another one. This is... Okay, I know what this one is. This guy... Again, we'll get rid of Ragna because he gives us the ability to use fire and break boxes. He's like a tank character. I don't remember what game he's from. I don't think he's Blaze Blue or Guilty Gear. I could be wrong, though. But as you can tell, he's very slow, but he's very powerful. He does, like, a ridiculous amount of damage. A ridiculous amount of damage. There we go. See, it just like flicks them away. So funny. Let's switch over back to the cat. Because he's a little bit faster. And there we go. We got to the end of the stage. Not bad. Pretty cool. We'll do another one. I'm actually going to switch up a few things for the characters. Or my character, I should say. Now, there is some bonus stuff in this game. That allows you to play like almost like a Smash Brothers S type of like mini game in here in a. Okay, we got an A. Yeah, we didn't get an S rank because because we died once, we lost a life once, so it's a little bit annoying. But I totally understand why. We didn't get the S rank there, but let me show you really briefly, the mini game here, which is called Colorful Fighters, which is kind of like a Smash Brothers S 
mini game that allows you to pick some of the different characters you run into throughout the game. Now, unfortunately, I haven't played far enough in order to unlock everybody. There's only four characters at first. Let me put it to one stock. Just again, I keep things simple. See, you only start off with four characters. You got a Blaze Blue, you got a Guilty Gear, you got a Kunio Kun, and then you also got Jimmy Lee. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Kunio Kun. So there we go. We're going to play against the computer just very briefly, just to show you guys what it's like. And all you do is just fight other characters and gather some of the different trophies in order to use them as assist. And it's very simple. Again, it's like Smash Brothers. Everybody has their own skills of their own attacks. Especially in the air. They look very basic. Whoa, whoa, damn, where am I? Ah, did I lose my life? Oh no, I'm up here. Okay, no, because I fell downward. And it's very like Smash Brothers. Now, if I could get down there. Ah, dang it, I got killed. So, right before I could grab it, I got killed. But as you can see here, the computer is just like going nuts. Ah. Oh, I still got one stock left. Okay. Because it counts zero. Oh, and I can hear Ragna's theme. Yeah, so this is definitely music from their respective games. Because I hear Ragna's theme in the background. And it sounds good in 8-bit. I'm not going to lie. It sounds really good in 8-bit. Matter of fact, yeah. Hey, hold up. Hold up, son. Okay, hold on. I want to use my assist. Ah, I didn't get to use my assist. You hit me right at that last second. What this reminds me of a little bit is Indie Pogo. If you guys have ever played Indie Pogo with the indie characters, that again, it's another Smash Brothers like game with 8 bit artwork. That's very similar. Oh, instead of just being on pogo sticks and having to just like slam your head on another person, this one plays a little bit more like Smash Brothers. And from my understanding, this game has literally almost about over 100 characters. You know, from all the different Arc System Works games. So it's like the ones I mentioned Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue. River City Rampage, River City Rumble, River City Girls, um, Kunio Kun, I, you know, I already said Kunio Kun, but uh, yeah, a bunch, man, so there you go, the computer won, <laughs> of course, go figure, the computer, <laughs> but again, you have to be able to play through most of the game in order to unlock the other characters, and I haven't gone that far, the, the other thing is, too, is that I've already completed, like, about five stages, so one full world, and I haven't unlocked anybody yet, which is a little bit annoying, I wish that maybe if you gathered the trophies, you would automatically unlock that character for the multiplayer. And again, that could be played up to about uh, four uh, characters. Four characters or against Soul like I just did. Let's go to another stage. Because there's nothing else in the main hub area to interact with. Let's go here to Rudy's folder. Just so I can show you guys the other abilities. Let's do it right here. Oh wait, hold on, let me go back. Because up in the top, I could change. I don't know if you can see. It's very small. I could change my outfit. That allows me to get other abilities. Gives me a little bit better jumping. A little bit better attack and stuff. Things like that. And as you go along the game, I'm pretty sure I'm going to unlock more. But for now, let's just take a look here. See, I'm in a blue outfit. We got an assist character, which is the other character from Kunio Kun. And I think this one's also from Kunio Kun as well. This one, he fires... He fires like little electric projectiles which is cute now here's the thing that i was mentioning before you could activate platforms you can see that now the platform starts to move nice get him there and then also we get to play as a tank look at that we get a little tank character so hold on before we even do this let's just destroy all these different things let me gather this assist trophy because, again, all these different assist trophies are pretty funny. He's got, like, high defense from, like, a tell. I don't know if he's necessarily... Okay, yeah, he's got a good damage output. He can break boxes. Okay, and he could also... Uh, what is it? Use the batteries to power up the platforms there. And there goes... Ah, there goes Kikisuke. So, hold on, let me switch him up because I want to switch out this character... Kai Kisuke from Guilty Gear. Let's do some fighting. Now they have... Most of the characters have their moves from their respective games. But not all of them. You can see that. Nice. Big attacks. Nice. We got them. And they look good in 8-bit, man. They really do. Hold on. I gotta switch characters. 
Does he jump a little bit higher here? We're in tank mode, but let's go back to my main character in her blue outfit. Because we still haven't found any bugs in here, surprisingly. As you can tell, it's a little bit faster with my attacks. Throw them in there. I'm going to go up here just to gather all the stuff. Because there's more items here. And then again, we got another character that we already have a lightning-based character that we can switch to, which is Kai here. To activate this. Activates it. And also... We also got her from Blaze Blue. Which is cool. The, the chick with the guns. Pretty awesome. Nice. There's nothing down here, right? I just want to double check. Nice. Do that. Keep going. Okay, hold on. What's... Okay, that's another assist character. I didn't know... Because I never saw that one before. Again, I'm like discovering ones I've never seen before as we're playing this now. But let's activate this. Our guy, Kai, here. Gotta watch out for these. Little lasers. Activate that. There we go. We're all good. We're all very good. Jumping up. Again, no... Okay, that hurt. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get really, really damaged there, but thank God not. Nice, and we made it. And we didn't lose a life, so I'm pretty sure we got the S rank. That would be kind of cool. Debug successful. Yeah, we took some damage. It's okay. Oh, we got an A rank, so you got to make it without uh, taking a lot of damage, I guess. No biggie. But pretty much any one of those ranks that you get there, based on those difficulties, you only get another ability that you can add on to your character, which is cool. Which is very cool. Okay, so let's just take one little quick look here around here, just so I can show you guys some more. And exit there, talk to some of the other characters. I'm pretty sure a lot of this is going to change as I go through the game. Funny enough, there's like little nods to certain brands. Like you can see there, there's a little Oreo nod. Or dots, or dipping dots. or There's even a Pocky in there. I didn't even notice that before. There's a Pocky in there. I don't know if you can see it right next to the Oreos. There's a little Pocky package. That's pretty cool. Now, funny enough, this is on Nintendo Switch, right? Look at this. I'm going to show you guys something really funny. Check it out. There's an there's a allegory or a parallel for an Xbox One, or an original Xbox, and a PlayStation 2 slash PlayStation 4 that's in here. Look at that. Right here. There's the PlayStation 4. I'm guessing that's supposed to be the PlayStation 4 or PS2. And that's supposed to be the Xbox without the X shape. The original Xbox, not an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One. And that looks like an Xbox controller as well. An Xbox, an Xbox One controller, now that I think about it, with a tablet. That's actually pretty funny. And a bunch of bootleg NES controllers on the ground. It's pretty cool. And then, of course, RKA machines. I do wish that you could interact with these and maybe get other mini games in there, because since they're just there, rather than just this little battle section right here, that would have been kind of cool. But again, maybe that changes as I go further into the game, or it's just there for aesthetic reasons. Let's talk to this guy. Does he tell us anything important? Just say anything cool? Some, there's just something about pixel art that cutting edge tech can't be. That is very true. Funny enough, that is very, 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 very true. Okay. But there you go. That's going to do it for this episode of JJ's First 20. Again, maybe I should... Do I have enough time for another stage? No, I don't really have enough time. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, from what I've seen so far, the game is pretty cool. You could buy it now on Nintendo Switch. It's pretty dope overall. Uh, it's, again, interesting. If you're a fan of Arc System Works and you want something a little bit interesting and different than what you've probably seen in the past, you know, that has a little bit of some love for the fighting games and some of the other beat-em-ups that you come to know uh, from the developer... Uh, again, check it out whenever you get a chance. It's pretty cool. Uh, I find it a little bit fun. You know, again, I haven't gone fully into the game yet, but it's fun so far. I think it's pretty dope. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments section. Tell me, do you guys think the game is cool? What are some of your favorite pixel art games as well? Put all that stuff down below in the comments section. I'll talk to you guys again very soon.